uh, I was asked to do a video on hearing God's voice. Uh, God speaks. And he, he speaks loud and clear. Let me say this. When you start fasting and praying, your spirit becomes sensitive to God's voice. God can speak to you in his word. He can speak to you in dreams. He can speak to you through people. He can speak to you through any um, through anything. You have to have an ear to hear. You have to always be attentive. Um, see, I can't talk to people. I can't talk like right now. God got me quiet. I'm not. I don't talk to people on the phone. Right now, I'm. I don't. I don't talk to anybody unless it's business or my kids or something like that. Invitation to come and speak or something like that because. When you are in a place, when you are seeking God, fasting and praying, your spirit is open. Your spirit is open. That means if your spirit is open, God can drop nuggets in your spirit and the enemy can too. So you have to protect what goes in you because what goes in you, I want to say, will come out of you. What I'm saying is, Whatever word come in you, if God give you a word, you become pregnant with that word and that's what's going to be birthed out of your life. If the enemy put a word inside you, you become pregnant with that. It's going to bring confusion and all kind of turmoil in your life. So that's why you got to protect it. When you fast and pray, stay open. Spend time in God's word. The more you spend time in his word, the more your spirit man is built up. And the more your spirit man is built up, the more you can identify the voice of God. But here's the key. You have to be careful. you got to get out of the way. Why do you have to get out of the way? Because you can want something so bad to where you will make yourself believe that God is saying you can have it or this is the way to go or that is the way to go. Let me tell you one way you know it's God. If you got your heart set to do something and all of a sudden you feeling this nudge mm -mm, or you feel you start feeling like um, uncomfortable or just just uncomfortable or if you feel like God is saying don't go or if you start feeling this uneasiness and your peace is gone for that specific decision. It's not. I mean, God is telling you don't go. Just say if I set out to go to the gym and I know I want to go to the gym and I'm going to the gym and all of a sudden God say be still. Or you start feeling like don't go. Okay. I know that's God. It's not me. I want to go. So if you if you're going like if 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 you're going to do something and you already put that on your list and God is something is saying be still. It's God. That's a warning. Don't do it. That's how you know it's God. If you if you uh, find yourself liking somebody or, or wanting to take a specific job or um, opening up account somewhere or wanting to buy a specific house or and, and you know that's your desire. And all of a sudden you feel this uneasiness, you know, or if you start having weird dreams or you start things, start, you start getting a, a change like. Like, just say you sleep peaceful, peace, peacefully at night. All of a sudden, you still having these weird dreams. All of a sudden, start, God start waking you up in the middle of the night. All of, a sudden, all of a sudden, every time you open your Bible, you get warning signs. Like the word might say, "Don't be not equally yoked together with unbelievers. Believers. Um, Second Chronicles 6. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, Second Corinthians uh, 6 verse 14, I believe. Or... If you start getting signs like First Thessalonians 4 and 3, where the Bible says, um, he warns us, this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality. If you start getting scriptures like that, that means some. if, the, if you haven't invited somebody new in your life already, that means somebody old is about to come back 
or you're you're about to meet somebody that can get you off track. You see what I'm saying? Those are warning signs. God speaks that way, but you got to spend time in his word. He builds up your spirit, man, so you can hear and identify his voice. That's just like when you're around somebody, your parents, uh, when you get to know a boyfriend or whatever, the more you're around that person, the more you know exactly.